What's up everybody? Today we're going to be talking about what a camera is. So in this video for the absolute basics of photography, we're going to be looking at a camera and what an actual camera is. So a camera in basic terminology is an optical instrument used to capture an image. These are usually sealed bodies or boxes with a hole for an aperture or a lens to go in to let the aperture with the light through, which can get captured onto a digital sensor on the back of it with a digital camera. Generally with your DSLR cameras, you have a body with a removable lens. However, you can get digital cameras with a fixed lens that's already in there, so you can't take that off and on. Most digital cameras too, you'll have a screen on the back so you can view all the different settings. If you don't have that, you actually have the viewfinder as well. And some of them have electronic viewfinders like this one, so you can see the details on both of them. And generally on the cameras, you're gonna have the dials on the top so you can change the different shooting settings. So you can go, yeah, your manual, your automatic, your sports mode, that sort of thing. On some digital cameras, you also have options to change on the dials, the shutter settings and the ISO, where some of them have an actual digital version of that, so you can change that on there. Generally, on your digital cameras, you have a shutter button. So whenever you press that shutter button, that opens up the sensor and that captures all of the light and that captures the image. So depending on what shutter speed you have it on, that's how much time the sensor is open and gathering all of that data. But in a later video, we'll go over shutter speed and all of those other different settings, so you don't need to know about that now. So basically on your DSLR cameras and your mirrorless cameras, you have the option to add change the different lenses. So basically your lens goes on here and then that's what you shoot with. So that's the absolute basics of what a camera is. And like I said, you get the cameras with the fixed lenses, so you can't actually switch the lenses out. You get the ones like these, so you take the cover off, you can change the different lenses, so you can have a zoom lens, a wide angle lens, whatever you want for whatever you're shooting. All camera bodies are different as well. They all have different size sensors, so the bigger the sensor, the more light it's gonna let in, so you don't have to use a higher ISO, and which we'll talk about further on is when you use a higher ISO, it lets in more noise. So to alleviate that, you get something like a full frame sensor, which is better than a crop sensor and a micro four thirds sensor. So with a full frame camera, like a Canon 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, you get a larger sensor, so it lets in more light. However, with your crop sensors, so again with the Canon, like your 500D, 700D, those sort of lines along like that, you have a much smaller sensor, so it doesn't let in more light compared to a full frame camera. And obviously you have these mirrorless cameras where there's no mirror that goes up and down like in the other cameras. I always get the question of saying, you're a photographer, so what camera should I buy? At the end of the day, it depends on what budget you have, what you're shooting, and what you're going to need the camera for. For example, if you're shooting landscapes, you're not going to need a massive sensor to let in loads of light because the majority of stuff you're going to be shooting is during the day, so there's going to be loads of sunlight. However, if you're a gig photographer and you're doing live music in a very dark environment and only lit by a couple of lights, you're going to need something that lets in a lot of light so you don't use as much grain. But then the camera body, that's coupled with the lens, which also leads us onto the next video, which is going to talk about lenses. And again, going with the thing, people saying, what camera should I buy? For me, and my personal experience, the best thing to spend the money on is the lenses. So you can have an older camera body which doesn't perform well in low light and different things like that put on a lens which is 1.4 1.8 aperture then you're going to get some cracking images because that quality of the glass is really superior and obviously better than the kit lens that comes with it so that's the way i say it and obviously when you stop down that aperture it lets in more light anyway so you're not going to have to bump up your iso on that old camera to let in more noise so that's the best way like i said when people ask what camera to buy it all depends on what you're going to shoot What's your budget? And nine times out of 10, I would say, well, what you're gonna shoot and the best thing to do is look at the lenses first. So that's it for camera bodies. It's time now to talk about some lenses. Yeah. 